Hey folks, here OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Thenium Charge. This is an ultra thin charging station for your smartphone. And there comes in two iterations, one for Android that uses a standard micro USB port and another version for iOS that has a lightning based adapter. So what's clever about this is it's not only a charging uh, kind of USB cable that can be used to transfer data by plugging into a computer or a USB socket, but it also has a full size folding prong on the other side that directly plugs into the wall and then the phone kind of pops up like a stand and can be charged when you plug it in. So it's an all-in-one solution that can be folded down to a little bit you know, thicker than about uh, you know a few cards but it fits into a wallet pretty easily and this is quite convenient because after doing a bit of traveling, one time I forgot the actual charging part or the wall plug part. I only had the cable, the lightning cable for the phone and so I realized surprisingly that a lot of hotels actually don't have a USB based uh, charger directly in the wall. So uh, that's actually something only found in higher end hotels or maybe in certain uh, air airplanes and more modern flights. So it's something we might take for granted uh, and we won't miss it until we realize it's not there and we can't actually charge our phone up, uh, which poses a problem. So this is an all-in-one solution that's compact, easy to take with you and doesn't take up any room at all. And that makes it a lot more convenient just to have everything in one instead of separated uh, both a cable and also another wall plug. So if we take a quick look at the packaging here, it's pretty simple. Again, it folds flat. It works with most Android devices. It is a five volt, one amp output though. So it's only gonna charge your phone uh, you know, relatively slowly. It's not Qualcomm quick charge enabled. It's not five volt, 2.1 amps. So it's not going to charge a you know a tablet or something that requires more power. But for your average Android device that has a five inch screen or 5.5 inch screen, it should work without any problems. So let's take a quick look at what's included in the packaging. It seems like aside from the Thinium uh, device itself, uh, there's also another compartment at the bottom here that features a quick start guide or an instruction manual. And that's essentially it. So let's take everything off to the side, unplug this and uh, take a look at the design first. It's made out of this polycarbonate plastic. And again, everything can be folded shut by pressing inwards. And also the same thing with the USB part. If you want to use it as a data cable or for charging it um, using a computer and then the wall plug part can also be folded shut. So again, it is th thicker than your average credit card, but at the same time, it's about the same size as a super thin power bank unit. And again, it's very compact for having everything that you'll need for charging and syncing in one design. Uh, the edges are slightly tapered and again you simply push out the bottom here to have access to the part that docks and charges your phone the micro usb part and then afterwards you pop in your phone as such and you can see the wall plug itself doesn't fold all the way to 90 degrees it comes off at an angle because when you plug into the wall it basically rests your phone at this uh, angle so it doesn't fall over. So it makes a pretty comfortable stand when you just directly plug it into the wall socket. One thing I will say though is this only tends to work in countries like the US as well as in China, which uses this type of plug. If you go to Europe, then you probably have to use another adapter, bring another part or purchase a different version from Thinium if they produce that uh, in the future. Um, something else I have also noticed about the construction is the part that pops open seems to be held into place just using rubber. If I pop this out, you can see that the tip here that's extending is made out of rubber. One of the downsides is if you use this for a long period of time or stick it in this one position, it doesn't tend to still stay completely flush anymore, maybe because it's been sitting in the packaging for too long, fully extended. So it doesn't seem to have the most longevity in the world. However, it's not a huge deal and all in all, it still looks and performs as expected, which is a very compact charging and syncing solution. So here we have the Thenium plugged into the wall. You can see that charging works without any problems. And for half of your Android phones at least, it's going to look pretty beautiful while it's being charged. You can even see notifications as well as maybe even use the phone kind of as a dock, maybe uh, for watching a few videos or whatnot. And charging performance is also quite good. You can get roughly 100% uh, charge in around 2.5 hours for most average Android phones. When I say average, I mean roughly 4.5 inches to 5 inches in terms of display and roughly a 25,000 milliamp hour capacity battery. Um, however, if you have 
have a larger phablet or even a six inch phone, it obviously will take a bit longer to completely charge. Now, one problem of the charge is admittedly the USB port. It's, uh, you know, micro USB is unidirectional. It only has one direction where the thicker end is located closer to the thinium and then the smaller side is located closer to you. And that means that if you have a phone that has the reverse in terms of the micro USB port, what you're gonna be looking at is the phone has to charge kind of facing the wall. And indeed, it does still work. It charges, obviously, without any problems. You can see the charging has started automatically, and it still stays in place just fine, but it's not nearly as elegant of a solution as when we had, uh, let's say, you know, this LG phone, for instance, that had the reverse in terms of how the ports were uh, positioned. So you can kind of see the difference here. And if we do another direct example, most Samsung phones, like the Galaxy S3 I have here, has faces the same problem where we have to charge it, again, facing the wall. So again, those are some things to keep, quickly keep in mind. And uh, one other thing I want to quickly point out is if you have a super large phone, it might also not be the most ideal charger in the world. Um, you can see that on this Nokia phone, it works obviously, but if the phone was a little bit longer or a little bit larger, since the dock itself is slanted at this angle, the top of the phone is going to be really hitting the wall, and since it can't really hit the wall too much, otherwise it's going to topple over. So you have to really make sure that the phone, I have to say, is roughly 5.5 inches or under, uh, otherwise it's going to pose some uh, ergonomic problems, and also it's most ideal if you have the US micro USB port facing, uh, you know, the, the, the bigger end facing towards the wall, and then the smaller end facing up. That's going to work best with this particular model. So again, this might be alleviated if Thinium came out with a more modern variant of this charging uh, dock system, where they used a reversible micro USB tip by kind of cutting off the corners. Regardless, it is pretty convenient, and I have to say, for a wall-integrated design, it already works better than I expected. The phones themselves that I tested all stayed in place without any issues. The slanted angle really does help. It elevates it at this angle and prevents the phone from falling loose or falling over. At the same time, charging rates themselves were actually pretty good for a standard kind of a micro USB based wall charger. And obviously the data cable part works as expected when you plug it into a Windows or a Mac. So anyways, that's been our quick video first look and our review of the Thinium Charge. This is an interesting all-in-one charging system that's easy to take with you and incredibly useful if you are consistently traveling and you don't want to take multiple parts and uh, fear losing them. Um, of course, there are a few improvements to be made, but all in all, this is a great concept and we're excited to see where this company takes a product like this in the future.